here on the plaza talking about what people do for their pets. They buy gourmet food, get them massages, bottled water. Well, you may not have heard about the latest way to pamper your pooch or cater to your kitty. Early show correspondent and our resident vet, uh, Debbie Turner, is here to tell us. Good morning. Good morning. Of course, you've heard of feng shui, yes. right? We talk about that on our show. Well, feng shui is the flow of energy in your home or workplace to promote health and well-being. Well, there's one California woman who has applied those principles to your pet. It's feng shui for pets, or as she calls it, first way. Do you want to walk Murph? Yeah. Okay. David and Romy Lowski would do pretty much anything for their dog, Murphy. Murphy is our first child. He's our baby. We bought two SUVs because of him. We bought the house with the yard because of him. <laughs> so when Murphy started chasing coyotes, they hired an animal communicator to find out why. Hi, how are you? How are you? Hi, Paula Murphy. Brown helped the Lowskis understand what was on Murphy's mind. Now the Lowskis are ready to add another dog to the family, and they are hoping Paula will help smooth the transition with an unconventional technique called fur shui. First way is a simple guide to show people where magical, wonderful energies are in their living spaces and also in their animal. Just like with feng shui, first way believes your home is divided into life spaces and energy or chi flows from one space to another. Paula's simple solution to your pet's health and well-being, choosing the right color. When you're thinking about prosperity, wrap a purple kerchief around Murphy's neck. I tie a green bell to a leash or collar of an animal that's having community and family socializing issues. Murphy will rest and sleep in a wonderful crate that has a little touch of yellow for health and balance. You can put red on for fame and reputation. So you can amp up your fame and reputation as well as theirs. So if you need some more skills and knowledge, walk your dog on a blue leash. Okay. And say, okay, I'm going to think about this when we go for a walk. There are a lot of people that are going to watch this story. I think we're kooks. Uh-huh. Our family thinks we're kooks. Murphy's an incredibly intelligent soul. If we can find a way to put into words what, he, the, you know, the vibe that he's giving off, the energy he's giving off, why not? You can sort of acknowledge it's, it's a little off the beaten path. Oh, yes, yeah. but we're in Southern California. You know? Also, coincidentally, in Southern California okay. is a first way true believer. Meet Jean B., owner of six Borzois. She says you can't argue with the results. Paula has first swayed her entire house. Ooh, see, they like yellow. They want to be healthy and balanced. She uh, recommended and put uh, yellow in the dog feeding bowls. And that's for Paula. Health and balance. So you don't, really you, know, you don't really know why you're doing it. You just know that. I know that as long as everyone feels good, everyone's happy and everyone's at peace, that's what I'm concerned about in life. Amazingly, six male dogs live together in harmony. That's exactly what the Lowskis want, too. Do you plan on taking her recommendations, making these first oh, way changes? Yeah, it definitely will help the energy in the house, and I think it's going to help Murphy as well as the family. We're looking forward to it. <laughs> All right, I admit it's a little bit out there, but Paula insists that they do feng shui in skyscrapers and malls and that it really works, so can't right. hurt, I guess. So for a dog like Dave Price's dog, Chance, Good old Chance. who has issues, <laughs> shall we say, is feng shui the answer? She says it's not the answer, but you can use it in conjunction with conventional things, veterinary medicine, behavior training, but it increases the energy. So, you know, if you believe in the energy, then uh, put a yellow ribbon around Chance's neck for good health. There we go. I'm there right now.